Good afternoon, Fraser. <laughs> you? A little bird, it tells now, is featured in your midnight movie. Yeah. <laughs> Very clever. Off you go. Very well. See you tomorrow, or should I say, see you in your dreams? <laughs> In this dream of yours, were there any cigars, bananas, or short, blunt swords? Would you stop it? 43. A little late for latency. She is OK over here? Uh, we're fine. Well, you must be new here. I'm sure I would have remembered such a pretty face as yours. You're overcompensating. Right. We're fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm just baffled, Niles. Obviously, Gil Chesterton explains chastity, but little else. Perhaps you should tackle this from a free association standpoint. Oh, God, must we? Well, now, focus on any detail in the motel room. What's the first thing that pops into your mind? Uh, a crescent-shaped lamp. Perfect. Crescent-shaped lamp. Run with that. Crescent. Moon. Daphne Moon. French maid. Brass bed. Satin <laughs> rope. That's... This is my dream. I was just showing you the process. You were three words away from a cigarette. <laughs> your turn. All right. Crescent lamp. Crescent, croissant, butter, apricot jam, hunger, food, diet. My God, I've been on a diet. Do you think that's useful? You could stand to lose a few pounds. <laughs> Just wait a minute. But well, Gil is a, is a restaurant critic. He's a, a gourmet. But perhaps he's symbolic of the food I've been denying myself. That would explain why you're naked in the dream. It's when we're naked that we're most self-conscious about yes, our bodies. Yes, and most vulnerable to the way society tattoos us oh. with labels about our appearance. Oh, my God, that's it, Miles. The dream is simply telling me that I've been too rigid about my diet. Well, you'll know tonight. If this is the correct interpretation, the conflict will have passed from your unconscious to your conscious mind. Yes, the dream will have served its purpose. And you will no longer be plagued by oh, it. God. Miles, I've nailed it all right. I really have. <laughs> Finally, the first time in weeks, there will be no tequila bottles, no tattoo, no half-naked man in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so then, the rabbi says... Wrong room. That does it. We're finding another motel. <laughs> <laughs>